What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Hey, folks, how you doing? Today is Mr. Warmack, and I'm definitely back in the building. Young. And today I'm going to talk about a topic that I rarely talk about. My videos are mostly concerning about men... Behavior, behaviors and accountabilities, etc., etc., and so forth. But today I'm going to talk about the lack of accountability among women. You ever notice this? And I'm only speaking from the women that I've dealt with and I've dealt with on social media. If you ever say something to these women, they say something stupid like, Your mama's black, or they're queens, or you're always trying to blame a woman, this, that, and the fifth. But if you look at it, they're not accountable for anything. They can have multiple kids the vulnerable daddies and they're had I mean like I said the, the, I always I always say in my videos these guys are no good you should stay away from them they're lame they're broke they, they're hustling you I call them every name in the book because if that's what they're doing that's what they are but at the same time you does do the same thing these chicks have three kids by three different dads and then chicks want to tell me well men say men will lie to you this and if you're that stupid to be a the lie you know Let's face it, you didn't, it's not that they're lying to you, you wanted that dick, that's what it is, because uh, if you have, if you, if every kid, if you have kids with different dudes, I can see if you were married, yes, there's there's people who have multiple kids by one person because they were married, I understand that, but if you have multiple kids by multiple dudes, it, it's, it's, your, your pussy stinks, first of all. Second of all, why aren't you checking yourself? And and I find out in the especially in the community, there's no the women don't do like guys do. They used to do this, like back in the day. They used to like women, like the older women, used to tell the younger women how to carry themselves. You can't do this. Don't do this around men, etc. So forth. But now the women think they know everything, and then you know who to blame is the, it's the liberal establishment. They taught you how like with the, with feminism. Feminism taught the black female how you can go without your man. The go First of all, it started with the government making bad decisions and beating down. And the government, government gave black men, I mean black women, money to kick the black men out the house. The black men stood up for that and accepted that. So I blame both of them for that. But then it came along feminism. And feminism taught the black woman, you don't need your man, burn your bra, you can do it by yourself, yada, yada. Just get them for money. But if you look at it, feminism okie doke and snowballed the black woman. What they did is, now if you look, if you look at, if, like, I'll, I'll give you an example. If you look at Ebony Magazine, wasn't Serena Williams pregnant? Wouldn't that be a coup for, like, black women everywhere? A, success, a successful tennis player, I mean, athlete, number one, you know, multi-millionaire and a black woman. Wouldn't you think that would be how does this success? How uh, she's a mom and doing her thing and this that, but no. If you go through every magazine, they want to show they want to show black men at awards with white chicks. So what part of feminism is that? And that and, and that's my point. Like like if, and if you notice with the feminism, the liberals that came and told you this, they didn't leave their guys. They didn't leave the the, the, the white liberals women did not leave their men. It was the blacks and browns that left their men. I mean, the, I mean not, not so much the browns, but the browns are starting to leave their men. The blacks did, and the browns are, and it's just like, if you see it, the liberal whites didn't leave their men. The liberal Jewish people didn't leave their men. But they told you to leave your men. But then again, you can't hold blacks and browns accountable for anything because... They always have the, and they don't, don't forget the, the almighty excuse, I mean, don't forget about the character they always blame, this, and you never see this character, but he always has his hand on something, Mr. McWhitey. They always say, well, what if, if the white man doesn't, well, number one, let me, let me explain something to people, and I'm going to explain, I'm going to explain this so, so simply that even your dumbasses should be able to pick up on this. If your house is dirty. And you go to somebody else's house, and it's not as dirty as yours, but it's not the cleanest. Mind you, your 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 house is a pig's not it's filth. But you go to somebody else's house, and it's um, it's not as it's not as dirty. 
and you're sitting there saying, this is a goddamn pigsty. What, what, what are you doing? You ain't cleaning nothing. Now, mind you, you ain't showing nobody your house. So, you're worried about somebody else's house when your house is a filthy pigsty, which is worse. And that's how, I hate to say it, a majority of black women are nowadays. Now, I'm going to get like four or five of you on YouTube or on social media saying, not all black women are like that. You're, you're categorizing. Hey, I'm just going by what I see on on, on, on Facebook and Twitter and uh, YouTube. Look, I know a lot. Of, I know, look, our community as a whole, the fuck shit is now cool and doing normal normalcy is not cool anymore. Look, 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 how, look at all these young boys who are laying around your house. And with welfare cuts coming up, that's going to be gone. They're coming up and they're, and they're looking for, they're, you know, they're not doing anything. Nobody in the black, like, younger blacks do not want to do anything as far as, there's, don't get me wrong, there are some that are working, and I give them credit. But overall, let's face it, it's, if you work, you're a lame. It's cool to be a thug. It's cool to be a drug dealer. It's cool to be a shooter. It's cool to be, you know, Pablo Escobar until, until you get caught and all of a sudden you see 20 to 30. You're like, oh, oh, oh hold up. <laughs> this ain't what I thought it was going to be. But, like, everything's just a cliche, but it is true. It's death or jail or prison, my fault. But back to the lecture at hand. There's no accountability among women. I mean, and, 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 and the bad part about it is then what happens especially with raising these monsters nowadays. Whenever they raise these monsters, number one, all he, what's the first thing they tell you guys? And, and then you guys fall for it. Oh, he don't eat no daddy. He don't eat no daddy. But when this little monster goes out and does something like killing little kids and stuff, which they're doing nowadays, or, or doing some other dumb shit, what they say? Oh, that's his dad's kid. He was never in his life. But they don't want to be held accountable. They only, they only want to be held accountable if they if their son's like a first round draft pick and buys him a house or a car or something with his money. And usually they they run out of money because the chick got you know her boyfriend and then the rest of the lazy no goods are coming in and he loses all his draft round money on on them, which is stupid to begin with. Young men don't take care of people like that. If they if they come to you, they're not your family. Sometimes your family isn't who you think it is. You have to ask yourself, who's your family if they come to you like that? But overall, it's just the lack of accountability among black women. You know, I'm willing to take the heat, but I'm willing to take the heat because it's true. Black women back in the day is, you know, it's like now. I, I'm, I see, don't see black women, a lot of black women in my thing, in my age group. They're too busy trying to live a second lifestyle. And B, they're too busy trying to live unrealistic expectations. Like the new thing. Let me tell you something. Like, there's, there's times of the year, and I'm going to admit to you, there's times of the year where I get fat. I yeah, do. Like, right now, I'm slimmed down more than what you think I am. Because right now, I'm making this video, and you sh I shouldn't say this because you're not supposed to do this, but I'm just doing it for a point of reference. This is uh, May. I'm making this video in May. And right now, I'm slim. I'm slimmer than what I used to be. Let me put this. I'm slimmer than what I used to be. But if you tell these chicks, these chicks want like, they want you to accept them for, like, a fat chick wants you to say, well, you got to take me like this. I'm like, no, I don't have to take you. I have something called options, and I'm using my options. See, it's in poor, it's, it's in poor broke bastards that have to accept you like that. I don't have to accept you. If you got a J-O-B and you got an education, you shouldn't have to accept some fat-ass chick if you don't want to. Now, if you, if you like big girls, that's your thing. I like thick girls. Not big girls. I like thick girls. Now, every once in a while, you know, there's some big girls who, who I think look good. And I'll tell them that. But overall, I, I look at that. I'm, I'm coming from the aspect as I'm going from the health perspective. And then people come at me, well, society says you shouldn't go by what society says. It's on your feeling. Well, when you're, whenever you're 40 years old and you're jumping over because of a heart attack, you, you ain't going to be laughing too much now, will you? Because I've seen this lately. I've seen a lot of black men and women in their 40s and younger than me fall over because of their size because they did they, they, and or the ones that like always went to the ER and never took care of their their problems. They think going to the ER once in a while, you know, oh, they took care of it. No, it didn't. I go to a doctor like I found out something. All my when I, when I was ha I was having bad health problems, not I mean, com 
comparatively to other people, I was having but terrible health problems. I mean, I was still going to work, still living day to day, still doing stuff. But when I had my bad, my bad spell, my share of bad spells, it was causing my weight. I noticed that. So what did I do? I came with a game plan. First off, I, f I fucked around too much, and then I just, one day I said, "Hey, look, man, this ain't gonna happen." And I always judge myself like where I work at. I work in a building where it has like five floors, and I judge myself like if I can't get up them five floors without huffing and puffing, I need to lose some weight. And they got to the point where I got, I was my, my chest was banging, and it's like, oh, well, yeah, it, it's gotta stop. But I, I, I was I was that was self awareness. But you can't tell these new, you can't tell this generation, or and I hate to say, I'll say generation, because mostly uh, the blame is my my generation, because most of them, like, they live in a they live in a fucked up reality where, like I said, they think they think fat is thick, and I'm like, no, fat ain't thick. You know, so last time I checked, fat was fat. You know, what I mean, and I'm like, live with what you are. If you're not willing to live with what you are, then you have to, then you're ashamed of, then you need to change it. Like I said, I, I, I'm people. You know, I didn't like being big, so I slimmed down. But as far as accountability with, with women, you're you're better off finding a fucking leprechaun to find accountability with women. They're not accountable for shit. Like I said, they raise these little monsters, and they want to tell you they don't need no man. But when they raise these little bastards out here that are beating up old women and killing and stuff, oh well, his dad ain't in the picture. Well, what do you want? Which one do you want? And or or to say something something real stupid. Oh, your mammy's black. What's that got to do with it? My mother ain't like you. My mother ain't having multiple kids by multiple gods. All my brothers are to the one dude. That's my dad. My parents are still married. So what you trying to say? You couldn't marry one guy without fucking around on him. But you know, it's just at the end of the, at the end of the day, we need. There's a lot of women out there, and I give you guys credit for doing it. But we need more women out there. Trying to show these young ladies how to be young women, like, like to say, like I said, a, a woman can't show a, a man how. I mean, a woman can't raise a young boy into a man. I can't raise a young lady into a woman. I need a woman's help to raise. Like if, like if I say, say, say something happened and I had a daughter and my wife or something, or wife or significant other, girlfriend or whoever, or you know, the two chicks I'm dealing with right now or whoever, say they were to off themselves. Or get out and not be in the picture. I could show her how to be a good human being. But I can't show her how to be a woman. That would take like my mom's help. And maybe maybe my, my brother's wife's help. And maybe my other brother's or girlfriend's help. Or maybe my current girlfriend's help. It would that be that type of stuff. But I know I can't show some little 12 year old girl how to be a woman. I mean just off the horseback commercials alone with the Tampax. I can't do that. So you need to start living in some type of reality, and no, I'm not blaming black women. I'm holding you guys accountable to. I'm holding your feet to the fire. So I'm done with this video for right now. I know I might catch hell, but when you speak truth, you have to speak it all the time, not just whenever you feel like it. And you can't speak it, not speak it, not to hurt somebody's feelings, because this is true. So I'm out. Peace.